I'd like for you to welcome Dan Miller, all right? When I was growing up on a small farm in, in Washington State, I had a lot of neat people like you in my life. They gave me encouragement to dream big, and I did. I had all kinds of dreams, and uh, well, one of them was to be a PE teacher because I love sports, and I was an all-star in basketball, and, and not too bad in football, actually. Uh, I enjoyed sports. I said, I'll be a PE teacher, and I'll be a pilot. I'll learn to fly my own airplane, and I dreamed big dreams. I said, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be, a, uh, of course, a PE teacher, and I'll have my own band, and I'll play a guitar. And uh, right out of high school, my dreams were coming true. I'd signed up for flying lessons, I'd, I'd uh, signed up to go to college, and everything was going great, and then I got what I thought was the flu. It turned out it was polio. I was one of the last cases of polio, remember that? 1955, Salk vaccine, that was the year. One month to go till I would have had my shots. I was completely paralyzed. Both legs, both arms, and suddenly I was a helpless, 18-year-old baby, once again. Had to be fed and dressed and picked up and turned over. And my dreams looked hopeless. And I was helpless. My parents and neat people like you prayed for me, and I turned out great. <laughs> God answers prayer, you know? I, I can't run or jump. My legs are 80% paralyzed. Well, well, this is my jump. You, you missed it, I think. <laughs> I can't jump. I can't get out of a chair without using my hand and getting the right angle. I fall down a lot. Uh, my legs are constantly scarred. Uh, I have some real funny ones and some real not-so-funny ones. But God's been good to me. I met my dreams. I became a PE teacher who can't run or jump. And for 13 years I taught PE and people come to watch me because I had new, creative, innovative ideas and it was my dream. You see, God's my dream maker. I learned to fly an airplane. One arm. This, uh, well, this arm uh, is 50% paralyzed. I can only lift it this high and it took two years of exercising before I could and I learned to be left-handed instead of right-handed. So, uh, there were some struggles and tough times and a lot of challenges along the way. But I got my pilot's license with no restrictions. Nobody will fly with me, but... <laughs> <laughs> in fact, uh, not true. I've flown seven different aircraft from ultralights to retractable gear all over this country. 900 hours pilot in command. My dream. And I wanted to play the guitar and it seemed impossible. This arm is, is pretty well shot. I've had some wonderful surgery and uh, it won't allow my arm to straighten out, but uh, I, can, I can't budge my thumb. I can wiggle a couple fingers. I have a hip bone connected to the wrist bone right there. <laughs> and I can't straighten it out, but I mean, it's so skinny, I can wear watches clear to my armpit. So, uh, actually, that's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> And I do. But you know, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. It's not what you look like. It's who you are. I love myself and, and my friends accept me because of who I am, not what I look like. God loves me, so I love me. So I'll never put myself down and I choose joy. I choose humor. And I choose God. I, I started messing around with this uh, guitar and messing around and messing around and it didn't work and didn't work. And I had a friend who tried to help me and he said, why don't we give up? So I let him give up. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't his, yeah, well it wasn't his dream, you see, it was my dream. Yeah. <laughs> And I kept messing around and messing around, and, and uh, one day I laid my useless thumb on the 
neck of the guitar and I found I could pull these two fingers and hit the strings backwards. So then it was a matter of persistence and start messing around a little more. Train those fingers. Hot lick. <laughs> yeah. And then I started uh, singing a few Elvis songs, yeah. <laughs> and I got my buddy back. <laughs> In fact, I got a hold of a bass guitar, and I played the bass, and he played the guitar, and we worked our way through college playing in a band. My dream. God was my dream maker. Nobody else believed I could do it. And then along comes Bill Gaither and some more country songs for me. <laughs> like this one. If you've knelt beside the rubble of an aching, broken heart If the things you give your life to fall apart You're not the first to be acquainted with sorrow